Good morning, I'm Justin from Brisbane Yamaha. We give you a bit of a run through on Mr Cassidy's Hornet and just show you what we can and can't do and why they're probably the premier sports boat in Australia today. Um, this isn't the first one that Mr Cassidy's owned, this is his second Hornet uh, and he's a big believer in the product and he loves the hull shape. We'll go through the front of the hull as we get there. Um, but first thing first, the beautiful blue colour, again exactly what he wanted, his stripe setup, uh, our beautiful alloy I-beam trailer, again everything that you see there is absolutely standard from Quintrex, uh, just the colour choice being what he wanted to do. As we come to the front, Dan, if you follow us around, got the boat catch and boat latch, I think if you like yourself launching and you like fishing on your own and impoundments, uh, there's nothing better than that. It's beautiful, it's simple, it works. Uh, and, and, and for the, the small amount of money that they charge, I think you're mad if you don't. The full alloy I-beam. If you have a look from this angle, Dan, though, that's what made the Hornet famous. That beautiful stretch curve there. Enough to really break the water, but if you have a look as it's heading back, beautiful and flat, so the, uh, the stability at rest of the Hornet is just unrivaled but its ability to break the water with that beautiful blade uh, cutting at the front. Um, again, just a beautiful boat. And as I said, this is uh, Mr. Cassidy's second one. As we slowly work around, because I think we'll have a better angle from here, um, spare wheel again that he did. Our trim shop made a, a beautiful, just a little cover for his spare wheel. Uh, again, we do that sort of thing in house. If you like those little things in life, the little specialties, we're the place for you. Um, if you come this way, Dan, I've got to show them this. This is fantastic. Here's the legendary Minn Kota Tarova iPilot. It's got the full GPS spot lock on it, uh, the saltwater version. And I'll show you in a second the two different versions. But um, yeah, when one hummingbird won't do, go for two. And, uh, and that's what he's done there. That's a beautiful Helix 8, fully removable. But when he's casting up the front, he's able to do that. And so what we've done made it removable, got its own separate power source so as not to have live leads. If you can just focus in on that one there for us, Dan. Beautiful bullet head where it wires through, Anderson plugs. Everything's just neat, tidy, so that everything works. And again, we don't have to worry about water ingress or anything like that. Uh, deep cycle batteries hidden up under the front of the boat. Minn Kota tablet just there. That allows the spot lock to, uh, to have two different readings so that it's got a GPS in the head, it's got a GPS there, so it doesn't matter what your current's doing. Um, this is his pride and joy. When the eight inch Helix isn't enough up the front, go for a 10 on the dash. So they're both interfaced using the same transducer, but with an ethernet connection. And what that'll do is that'll give him the ability off the one transducer to be able to read when he's behind the wheel or when he's up the front having a cast. Uh, hydraulic steering because I really think that's the only way to go if you're going to enjoy it all let's do it properly um, standard rocker switches and what we've done is use the accessory for the front hummingbird as I said we can power it on and off I've left the gauges turned on again Yamaha land gauges um, this will give him fuel flow so we'll learn how to drive his boat perfectly for his fuel he'll understand his economy what the peak ranges are but what a lot of guys forget with Yamaha land gauges you have a troll function so he can adjust his trolling speed depending on what sort of fish that he's, uh, he's chasing. Uh, if he's chasing something that requires the lures to be set at a certain speed, the Yamaha troll function works beautifully like that. Underfloor tank as you'd expect. Hopefully Dan's able to see it from here. But on the other side, the other one he's gone for is the full rod locker. So that's now with a beautiful aluminium lid. It folds down just under the seat. We've got a cutout in the front so we can run his full length brim rods. Um, but just a beautiful design, foam tape underneath the lid so it's nice and waterproof, nice and tight, lockable, uh, just to keep the ferals out. We are a convict nation, we've been trained to do that sort of thing. Then we get to the back, Dan, and again the Yamaha 90, and look this really is the, uh, the weapon of choice these days, it's now the market leader in the 90 horsepower range, uh, 1800cc, uh, 16 valves, uh, with a single overhead cam, so incredibly light, incredibly efficient. Um, the same block is now used all the way to the 130, so uh, it, it is just a magnificent beast. We're getting better than three kilometres per litre in the cruising range, so you're getting the power without worrying about your fuel. Again, fantastic. That's the, uh, the hydraulic steering, and again, we only use the good gear there. Um, with the bullhorn, it folds up and down with the motor. 
You probably notice that it's got a cowl cover on it as well. That's again an in-house one. Yamaha offer a fantastic cowl cover, uh, but that's one that we've done in-house because he wanted some foam padding with it. Um, and our trimmers do such a good job. That was Corey. Uh, Corey should be world famous by now. You'll notice there's a few cord buttons on the back of the boat. Uh, we're just drying it because we've washed it, but this has got another one of our world famous full travel covers on it. Um, the boys again just do a fantastic job. Use umbrella, you'll never have a problem. Hand make it, hand shape it, and there'll be no dramas with it. That's the big hummingbird transducer there as well, and that will fold away out of the road. And then while Dan's down there, you'll actually see that it is the full drive on, drive off trailer as well. Um, so again, there's nothing finer than the Quintrex in regard to that. This is the front casting deck now of our Hornet Trophy. Again, plastic mo uh, molded, rotor molded bins, uh, just so that he doesn't get any wet and any slop under the floor and able to put them in there. Again, a tickable option on there. It is an option, but we do do those. Uh, also the wet storage in the middle can be converted to another live bait tank as well. I'll show you the live bait tank at the back. One of the things that he wanted to do that was a little different, we've actually put the little stainless latches on his front rather than the, the traditional torno loop. So again, just the little things. We, we really like to build a boat for what the customer wants rather than what we want. Um, you know, and then you can build the dream and you can do that nicely. Up under here, um, again, probably a good spot there. Deep cycle battery for the Minn Kota. And again, the, the best way to do your Minn Kotas is to use the, the factory gear. So a proper factory loom, tin wire, installed by our boys. And, and like I said, I'd back our guys to fit a boat up neater than anyone else. Um, and then that one there's just extra storage and then an anchor bin in the front. Extra seat spigot so that if he's having a quiet day, he can cast from the front. And I'll just uh, show you the rod locker as well. We might just pop that open while Dan's in here. Full rod locker through there as well, and storage up the front. As I said, the foam tape on the lid, and it all locks up. Full pins to lock, and of course we can lock it as well. And I'll just show you the live bait tank before we sign off. Um, you know, like I said, we build all sorts of hornets. We build them to what you guys would like. But if you have anything specific, come and let us know, and we'll tailor it up to you. In here, we got a big aluminium bin made for him, just so that he had wet storage and nothing to lose around there. And again, that's just something that Brisbane Yamaha likes to do. Make them a little bit different, make them a little bit special. Why not? You've earned it. And a full plumbed live bait tank there as well. So we've got the aerator, we've got the stem, we've got the mesh to put on there. And that's your guided tour of a custom made 4.81 Hornet. Thanks for watching and we'll catch up soon I'm sure.